Uh, thank you so much for letting me speak. Uh, I am here to talk to you about an endangered species list for musicians. Um, not that I think musicians are animals, um, maybe some, but that I see a lot of similarities between a lot of exotic instruments and musicians and endangered animals. If you look behind me, you see an uh, Afghan rabab musician and a French horn. Um, both the French horn and the rabab are uh, you know, symbols of music that are in trouble. The symphony is definitely uh, in a decline right now as far as attendance and such. Uh, Bao Wei Chen behind me, he plays an instrument called a shun, X-U-N. It's an ancient instrument. Very few people play it still um, professionally on the planet. And the reason I'm coming in and speaking to you guys about this is I want us to do something about it now before instruments are silenced uh, forever and we only have pictures or we have videos um, and we need to start to do some things. So one thing that you think about if you think about endangered species, you think about captivity versus out in the wild. And captivity for a musician, in a good way, I'm not knocking anything here, um, a university setting, uh, endowments for large symphonies are things that kind of sustain a musician or an artist where they may not uh, be sustainable in, in out in the wild. Now, the wild for us, I am a musician, oh, I just hit the mic, is uh, the out in the wild is here on the stage like this, playing for people like you because there's an energy, there's a, there's a need with musicians that we want to play for you. And there's something inside us that makes us want to go to a concert and hear people do it. Um, so uh, I don't like to be a, a negative person. I don't want to come out and say, oh, this is ending and bad. I want to offer some solutions. One thing I think we could reinvent the orchestra to make it speak to modern day people um, and the other is a Silk Road of the 21st century, a world orchestra website. Um, now, this is a design that I came up with thinking about the Western style of orchestra, the Eastern Chinese style of orchestra, Arabic styles of orchestra, big band, all that, put it together. We have one universal world orchestra that can speak to our global people, like right? we're all connected to the internet and we all see things and talk to people all over the world. Well this new orchestra can really speak to who we are today. Um, there will be a few pictures showing you different experiments that I've had. Um, I've put together various groups, various instruments, but people all over the world are realizing the same thing, that musicians are in trouble. Um, there's not as many albums being bought today. A lot of music on television is uh, done by synthesizer. Um, their attendance at concerts is down. So, we need to do something. And we don't want you to come to a concert because you feel sorry for us. We want you to come to a concert, yeah, because you like to come to concerts. So we need to be performing music that you like, that you enjoy. We need to find some common ground so that we're worth saving, right? Okay, so the other thing was that World Orchestra website. Now, I don't own the website. I'm not peddling a website or anything. But if we had a one place where people from all over the world can share their traditions of instrument, such as their notation system, how they rehearse, um, whether they read or don't read, how is their music passed down from, from father to son or guru, how, how is the system working? Because that will speed up this process of getting a new uh, energized music scene with instruments from all over. <sighs> Five minutes, man, it goes by like that. Um, <laughs> so I didn't talk to you about why should you care, right? Why, why does it matter? Since the dawn of time, there have been musicians. And musicians pass it down to the younger generation. And if we allow musicians to go extinct, if we only listen to a certain popular style and everything else disappears, then we lose a large piece of who we are as humans. We lose a connection to what we were and the story of us. It's gone. And once it's extinct, it's extinct. We can watch a video, but we no longer have the master to teach us how we did it. Now, if you check under your seats, you won't find anything, but, <laughs> but uh, we do have the after hours after this, and anyone that wants a free song, I'm happy, I'll give you a, like a card, it's a free song, email me, I'd love to share some music with you. Um, I've also put some links up, you can check it out. 
I'm here to talk to you about the endangered species list for musicians. I hope we can work together to do it before our instruments fall silent forever.